Welcome to Torch Basketball Academy. You're probably watching this video because you're wondering, how do I handle the ball like a pro? At Torch, we teach five different ways to cross over the ball and really create space. Now the first ball handling move is cross over. Number two, through legs. Number three, behind the back. The fours, in and out. The five is the spin move. And there's one more, the one hand cross. Now I'm gonna take you through the first one. Now whenever you work with cones or hurdles, remember, each cone and hurdle represents a defender. If I'm standing on top of the cones, right, you cannot go through me. You need to go around the cones. The first move is cross over. I attack the cone, one dribble cross, one dribble cross, one around the cone, around the cone. It's the hurdle, it's gonna force you to get even lower. Now the key here is repetition. The more you cross the ball over, the easier the crossover will be. That's the secret to success. Okay, now as I go back, I want to start thinking, how can I get better? Now we have POEs with Torch Basketball Academy. If you're a serious baller, you have to keep yourself accountable when you're working out. Now the first POE is keeping your eyes up. Number two, keep the ball low. Number three, have rhythm when you dribble. Okay, I'm going to attack these cones. With rhythm, that includes moving my feet. I want to always keep my feet moving. Never plant it on the floor. The moment my feet are planted, then to remove them is too late. I want to always keep my feet moving. I'm coming through it. One dribble, cross, eyes up, eyes up. First move, crossover. Second move is through the legs. Now let's remember, each cone and hurdle represents a defender. We can't walk through them, we must go around them. That's the POE number one. Keep our feet moving, have our eyes up, and keep the ball low. Now when I keep my feet moving, I'm going around the cones, keeping my eyes up, keeping my eyes up. Now the faster I do this, the more reps I get, the easier it will become. Now as I head back, I want to make sure I'm going at an intense pace. For now, I'm pushing myself here and around the cone. I'm going hard, I'm going around here, and I'm finishing through. Now the more I do this, the more I work on my game, the more reps. That's how you become great. Now you gotta work out intense. The third move is behind the back. Now keep in mind, the POEs are not gonna change. Our eyes need to be up, our ball needs to be low, and we need to have rhythm. Now you can see, I have rhythm with my feet, I'm going around, I'm going around, I'm keeping my eyes up, I'm here, I'm keeping the ball up. Okay, now we're gonna to try to go faster. The more intense I work out, keeping my eyes up, the harder I go, the better I'll be. Serious ballers only. Now, the fourth move, is the spin move. Now how do you work with the spin move with small space? Now if you can work with small spaces in a game it's going to become very easy. Now let's see. One dribble spin. Now this is the one dribble series. Keep that in mind. I'm one dribble spin. One dribble spin. Now when I knock down the cones it's okay. It means I'm going hard. One dribble spin. Now you're going to get dizzy. Get ready. One dribble spin. Spin, move is the in and out. Very, very good move. You study Jordan's highlight tapes, one of his go-to moves. You can start with your dominant hand, you can start with your non-dominant hand. Okay? And you have to understand each cone represents a defender. Now with this in and out, you want to start by moving your ball hip to hip. If you're starting this and I were to teach you it, I would have you be in a triple threat stance, moving your ball knee to knee with your eyes up with the arm bar. I'm here. The better you get at it, the less the ball needs to move. It's more of an irky jerk movement with your shoulder, throwing the defender off balance and having unexpected movements. Now approaching my cone, I want to use this white line, this white line here, as something to guide me. I want to start on the white line. I want my ball to cross it and come back. One dribble. Cross it, come back and down. 
Cross it, come back. I'm moving my feet and body in between each toe. Taking one dribble in between. One dribble, in and out. One dribble, in and out. The faster I do this, the better I'll be. Now I want to work on my weak hand, my right hand. One dribble, in and out. One dribble, in and out. Going quick, making sure the ball, my foot cross, the white line, coming back, and hit. The sixth and hitted move of basketball. I'm not going to really find a coach around who's really going to teach you this move. It's called the one hand crossover, aka Tony Parker. Now, with this one hand crossover, what move are you faking? When I do my in and out, I'm faking I'm going one way and coming back. Now, this sixth move is called the one hand crossover. I'm just crossing the ball over. Now, I'm, if I was to do my in and out, they're going to think I'm going that way, but I'm not. When I throw in my one hand, it's going to make the progression a lot smoother. When you do your in and out, defenders are going to fall for that. How do you practice that? Again, POE, keep your eyes up, keep the ball low, and have rhythm with your feet. Constantly keeping your feet moving. Now this is the one dribble suit. Taking one dribble, cross, one dribble, cross, one dribble, one hand cross, one hand cross, one dribble, one hand cross, one hand cross. One